Hey everyone, it's Marella Minnelli here and today I'm going to show you how to achieve this fall look incorporating a foliage technique using the brand new Kenra Professional Simply Blonde Beyond Bond Lightener. So stay tuned and check it out. This is my model Jess and she's mostly virgin with some previous highlights and she's ready to transition her hair color into a fall shade. So we're gonna go in with some highlights just to brighten her up with Kenra Professional Simply Blonde Beyond Bond Lightener and then finish her off with one of my favorite fall tone glazes. To get started, I sectioned my model's hair down the center since that's typically where she parts it and then down the sides behind the ear and clipped it away. I then mixed up Kenra Professional Simply Blonde Beyond Bond Lightener in a one to two ratio with 20 volume developer. My model is super apprehensive about using bleach on her hair, but I assured her that this lightener is perfect to get her a brighter finish without compromising her hair because of its dual bond complex. I then started in the back by taking a diagonal section from her right ear down to the left corner of her hairline. I used a rather heavy highlight focusing on the interior of the section by not weaving the exterior of my section. Using a large color brush, I applied the lightener to the mids, making sure to saturate them fully. And then taking a small dry brush, I continued to feather up the product. And this will give me a seamless blend and give the illusion of a balayage finish. You can see I'm feathering up my product a little higher on the exterior and a little deeper in the interior. My hand is also stroking lightly to create that soft diffused dark into bright saturated mids and ends. How you apply your product is exactly the end result you will get. So for this technique, we are using saturation for brightness and light application for a blend. For the next section, I used the middle of the foil as my starting point and then brought the section all the way up to the back of the left ear and then continue to weave in the same fashion as the previous section really focusing on the interior and leaving out the hair around the hairline. We did this so she has less maintenance on the underside so you don't see any highlight on the hairline and leaving her natural. But this technique will still give a brightening effect in the back. I continue on with the same pattern throughout the back, brick layering all of my sections. The goal here is to add a few foils but with maximum impact. I love doing this especially when you're short for time but your client wants a full highlight. Of course you can customize this by adding a few foils on the hairline if you want or maybe even adding some open air hair painting between the foils for added lightness. But either way, brick layering will save you time and give the illusion of a full highlight. Some tips when doing this foliage technique is making sure to fully saturate the mids first and then feather up your product using a dry brush. I particularly like using my mini from our brush, but you may find using a makeup brush can give you the same effect. It's really all about finding the tools that you love using best. Another tip is try folding your foils. I do this quite a bit and the reason is so that your saturated ends are not going to touch the lightly saturated top. Or another way is to flat lay your foils all together so you can just forget about foiling. But either way, just make sure you're applying saturation for brightness and light application on top to get that diffused to saturated effect on the hair. Since my model was a little nervous about using bleach or harsh chemicals on her hair, this lightener is a perfect solution, especially since we're trying to lift over previously lightened hair. Simply Blonde Beyond Bond Lightener has an amazing viscosity and it is super easy to apply, especially when we're painting or doing foliage. What's also great is that it has both inner and outer cuticle bonding with dual bond complex. This unique complex works to repair and strengthen the inner cuticle while also mending the outer cuticle. This basically is going to protect the hair during the lightening process. Overall, we will get a better color deposit after lightening when we do her glaze and better color longevity, leaving her hair smooth and manageable. Once I got to the top, I made sure to finish with the same diffused heavy highlight, but I took my sections horizontally and with half inch subsections. 
I complete the top with three foils, but you can customize this according to your client's needs. You can see most of my blending I do is slightly higher on the exterior of the foils and a little deeper on the interior. For my very last foil, my model's hair is pretty long, so this is a perfect example of extending your foil if you need to. Simply add another foil right under the saturated ends and you will see that the foil sticks to the product, making it really easy. For the sides, I removed the hair that loves to frame her face. You can find this by shaking out the hair and it will fall out for you, or you can take a clean section like I am. I decided to go this route because her hair is pretty fine and medium density. I wanted to make sure that there was enough brightness around her face. I clipped the remaining hair away to give me a clean working space. Taking the entire front hair line section, I saturated the ends and feathered up the product so I can have that rooted look but without the tease or a shadow root. Since we wanted to emulate that money piece, I took the entire front section as well, diffusing it a little higher. For the remaining sections on the side, I took horizontal slices, but this time I made sure to diffuse higher towards the face and lower away from the face. This gives the illusion of balayage with brighter pieces around the face and depth on the interior. Overall, the slices give a pop of brightness, but the application gives a rooted look. I continued with slices using one and a half inch subsections until I got to the curvature of the head. You can see I only added three foils. Once I got to the top, I used diagonal back one inch subsections and continued with slices, really focusing on diffusing towards the top. Since my model wears her hair in the center, I made sure to diffuse the product more towards the top center and a little bit lower on the bottom, giving that hair painting illusion. A little tip is to remember you, that you need depth in order to see your highlights. So sometimes less is more, especially with foliage or hair painting. It's been about 45 minutes and we got Jess's hair to a nice level seven. And if you're ever questioning what level you lifted your client's hair to, you can always pull out the underlying pigment chart in your Kenra Color book and just line it up. So that's how I was able to determine how light I, was, I got Jess's hair. So you can see that she is a level seven because we have those really gold orange tones in here, which basically tells me that I need to tone at a level seven. And since we're going for a fall vibe here, I'm gonna go in with 7BC and a few ribbons of 6C for added pop of copper. I wanted to show you what this foliage technique looks like without a shadow root. I would recommend this toning method if you want the maximum brightness towards the top or for a simple process. I typically start my toning where I want the most to deposit since Demi Permanent is a progressive color. This means the longer you leave it on, the more deposit and saturation you will get. So for this model, we are focusing on the base first and then applying to the mids and ends. Make sure to fully saturate your product for an even deposit. I processed my model's hair for 25 minutes at room temperature for maximum saturation and finished with the shampoo and conditioner. So here's the final result on how to achieve this fall look incorporating a foliage technique using the brand new Kenra Professional Simply Blonde Beyond Bond Lightener. So just to recap on her formula, we used Kenra Professional Simply Blonde Beyond Bond Lightener at a one to two mixing ratio with 20 volume developer for her highlights and then processed her for 45 minutes. And then for her final glaze, we used 7BC and a few ribbons of 6C for a pop of copper at a one to two ratio in Demi Permanent with nine volume developer and processed her for 25 minutes. So I really hope you enjoyed this technique and this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time.